Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this thrilling Thursday here in Connecticut. Life's good, guys. Life is good. Anyway, you saw the thumbnail. Cat Anderson and Lynn Nicholson. You notice I did not say Cat Anderson versus Lynn Nicholson. I refuse to do that. Both of them are just too great to, to do that type of thing. Anyway, with that said, let me honk a little bit and we will get to it. Uh, haven't played a note. Let's see what we got. Anyway, when you're talking about Cat Anderson and Little Nicholson, it's only appropriate to break out the heavy artillery. <laughs> F sharps above double C. Anyway, guys, we have had a very, very nice discussion about uh, the two of them. Okay? And. Um, most of it was emails, which is fine. But it was very, very nice. It was civil. <laughs> you know, it was not, oh, he sucks and, and you're an idiot. You don't, no. It was very, very nice. It was civil for a change, which I think was due to the respect that both of them deserve in the pantheon <laughs> of music and music history, trumpet and trumpet history. Now, I think it was almost unanimous, almost unanimous, and I'm leaving a link down below. That's great. It was, uh, you know, Duke Ellington with Cat Anderson and Clark Terry. Now, about the link before I get to the uh, comparison. Uh, the link, listen to the notes pop. Ba -ba -da, ba -da 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 -da. I mean, just brilliant articulations. Then it goes over right to Clark Terry, who was to... Um, Cat's right. And you hear the difference in the sound and the difference in the approach. It's almost compared to Cat. It almost sounded like um, Clark was playing flugelhorn. But anyway, uh, in the second or third solo that Clark takes, you hear the same pop. You hear the same pop. It's incredible how our idols all have basically the same setup that we do. They're using different mouthpieces. And I, I, you know, I absolutely, completely, a thousand percent believe Clark Terry could have had double C's if he felt like it. I don't think he really cared to. But anyway, that's not the point. We're here, Cat Anderson and Lynn Nicholson. Now, I nominated those two as high note guys with maybe Johnny Madrid at number three. Uh, a couple of the guys added a couple other names that, I, for me, they just didn't work. They just didn't work in, in that genre. Now, I think we'll both agree that even though I don't put either of them in my upper echelon of icons, they're the next best thing. For what they do, they are the next best thing. Now, Ken Anderson has agreed across the board, across the board, uh, to be the better jazz player. I think that's a given. I mean, you can only, you know, play Duke Ellington's band and hang around people like Clark Terry, and I, I mean, some of it's going to rub off. <laughs> I mean, it just is. And if you think about Lynn Nicholson's gigs, Bill Chase, uh, Maynard, and Buddy Rich, 
it was all high note lead playing that he was hired for. There, there was no great jazz being, well, there was great jazz being played. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't necessarily a jazz gig, and certainly he was not in the jazz chair. So even if he had those chops, we never had, we never heard them. Now, uh, I have heard him play nice, free, open, low G's above low C. Uh, I haven't heard Cat go down there, but I'm taking for granted that he could. Um, so all of them were doing something right. There's no question about it. Now, I will tell you that, say this. With the articulation alone, I like Cat's better. It was more pointed. It popped a little more. And I do think Cat Anderson was not overblowing where Lynn Nicholson may have been working a little too hard. Okay. With all that said, everybody agrees 100%. Lynn Nicholson is stronger, especially above double C. Now, to be stronger than Cat Anderson above double C, that is some hellacious stuff that you're doing. I mean, it really is. So, you know, for him to be overblown, for him to be working too hard, I mean, that's, it's still to take nothing away from what both of them are doing. And... That's it. We will have this discussion again, and maybe somewhere down the road uh, we can add somebody else to it. I don't see any of the uh, I don't see any of the guys on the scene now doing that sort of thing. Um, not to say some of them can't, but anyway. So let's wrap this up. As I said uh, the last two days. Uh, tomorrow's my anniversary. I'm not sure, and we're doing stuff, stuff. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get anything up. Maybe I can get something up first thing in the morning. You know, something like that. I don't want to shh once and just leave something to, to listen to. But um, that's that. 32 years, man. So, anyway, guys, you are the best. You are the best. And uh, that's it. Eat and drink your fruits and vegetables, and live your life with true power. Not the fake stuff, true power. Love you all.